Hi friends, I'm Sincerely Unique and we are back with a recorded Genshin Impact episode because uh, I really want to pay attention to these world quests without chat, talking to chat this time. We're, we're going to really dive, in, dive into the lore today. I, if you've been watching Keeping Up With The Channel, I uh, finished up the quest over here with the Melusine, all of our Alinas, we did all of that. We even unlocked Canotila and the Book of Revealing. We did that quest on stream as well too. Today's plan is we're gonna do Anne of the Course and whatever that quest is, and also we're gonna be doing this world quest. Uh, what's his face? <laughs> the, uh, the I forgot his name, but we're gonna be doing that too because I think that one isn't as long as the Anne quest line, so we should be able to do all this in like a uh, hopefully two hour, three hour video. We'll see. Also, another reason why I wanted to record is that I can pause and cut stuff out as I need to. So I think I will think I'm, I'm gonna try something different. We're gonna try something different today. Now, where do I unlock this quest? I actually not even sure how to get it. Hello? Is it below? It might be below. I don't know how to get down there. Hello? Am I just dumb? I might be just dummy. I might have just be running past it every single time somehow. How do I get to you? Is it above? Oh, whoa, 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 wait, there's something I'm supposed to click. Oh, oh wait, is this thing? I do have Endora with me right now. Hello? Who the hell are you? I love the underwater music, by the way. Hi. <laughs> little, are you a little oceanid? Ah, you there, you look most reliable. Good night, please help us. Uh, what happened? The evil minions of the fell dragon Narcissus have surrounded the Petit Chu. We must help her. Who? Who that? What? Uh, never mind these weird names. This seems serious. Let's just head over there and lend a hand. Thank you. My name is Anne, a member of the Narcissan Kreutz adventure team. Come, please, come with me. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I cannot do German or... Anne of the Narcissan Kreutz. So, I believe we've actually heard of the Narcissus and Kreutz uh, during the, the Melusine quest. Well, the Narcissus and Kreutz kingdom was conquered by Narcissus the Fell Dragon. We banded together to rescue Princess Lyris and reclaim the realm. That's the basic answer, anyway. That doesn't sound basic at all. We'll talk about that later. We've got to save pe people first. That's right. Come with me this way. <coughs> Excuse me. If y'all see me going past challenges and chests, it's because I genuinely uh, don't care right now, and I will be lose. I will literally lose my mind if we try to go for every single chest in the puzzle. Like we, th th that is not the focus of what we're trying to do here. We are trying to get these world quests done today. But yeah, I think that Artisan Kreutz is supposed to be an institute or something like that. I thought we talked about this in the Melusine quest. Oh, look at this. I'm unlocking all my teleporters. Y'all should be so proud of me for doing my freaking world quests. Hello? Ah! Get away from me! Is that the Petit Chu you were referring to, Anne? Yes, that's right. Please, help her. I, if you, I guess we'll try. Why have you now, Petit Chu of the Narcissus and Kreutz adventure team? If you don't leave, I'm gonna get serious, grr. <laughs> what the hell is happening over there? Somebody's gonna need these damn barrel conches. It's probably gonna be Rossley. I'm guessing. I'm guessing right now. Solidified. Oh wait, we're in solid ground. Ugh, cursed at the Spickable Nartis and Kreutz adventure team. Ah, help! Wait, let me take a look at Anne. Oh, they're both water spirits, water sprites. I forgot the name. Well, elementals? Idolins. This is an Idolin. Huh, I'm saved. Also, Zhongli's freaking huge pillars in the way. Wait, so Petit Chu is a bench? Petit Chu is Petit Chu. Regardless, it is all good that you are well, Petit Chu. Now, let me introduce these two. I actually haven't asked you for your name. Uh... I'm a knight who looks most reliable. Are you seriously still hung up about that? He's unique, and I Paimon is Paimon. Thank you, knight unique. Squire Paimon. Squire? 
Attend to my, uh, my shoulder's ache. <laughs> uh, you've got it all wrong. Paimon's no squire. She is Unique's companion. <laughs> Uh, although indeed I've indeed considered getting a squire in the past. Why do you really want one? Seems like this journey has been pretty tough for you, huh? <laughs> I see, I see. My apologies, Paimon. I am Petit Chu, a member of the Narcissus and Kreutz adventure team. If it was not for your help, I might have. Well, Narcissus has girded his support in it with the aegis of the four Orthans, so our powers are unable to overcome them. That's how it is. But with you and your companion on our side, good night. We shall have nothing to fear. The princess will be pleased. Uh, one moment. Who's this princess again? And what's this adventure team of yours? What's going on with this Narcissus? Well, this is how things went. A long time ago, this was a kingdom of unparalleled gladness. The children and princess Lyris lived happily together here. But later, the kingdom fell to the predations of the Narcissus, a fell dragon who had designs and the princess of her treasures. Princess Lyris herself hid away in a high tower and entered a deep slumber, and that's why we now know now name the kingdom Anapausis. Oh, get it, Pause? Anapods. I get it. Narcissus filled Anapauses with bitter waters. That which we just defeated was an evil being born from those waters, an entity which opposes the Reconquista. <laughs> this time. We attempted to infiltrate the place and rescue the princess while the dragon was absent. However, we ran into a great many poses, and ultimately, we failed. But now that we have you and Paimon on our side... Hmm, unique. We have nothing to fear. Moreover, we have a princess. A kingdom and a wicked dragon. Sorry, my nose is going through it. Tradition in the stories dictate that we must also have a knight. Yes, a mighty and righteous knight like you. Well, I have defeated a dragon in the past. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Paimon's not sure what you're going on about, but if it's dragons you want, Unique's beaten them before. Really, now you have? More than once, in fact. <laughs> really? You're so strong. It is our great fortune to have met you, good knight, Unique. It seems that the time has come at last for the Reconquista. The Narcissus and Kreutz adventure team shall reclaim the realm and rescue Princess Lyris. Come, Petit Chu. Let us do as we planned. First, let us get rid of all this foul water. Uh, I'll do my best. Huh? Alrighty. Oh, they can drain the water? Oh, wait, is that the power that they use to make that room... Dry? Yeah, this must be the same power. What in the Katara of water bending is this? Wait, is that a. That crystal reminded me of Enconomia. A little bit. There was a crystal in between that pillar. What the hell did I just unlock? Uh, all this water. Is this some kind of ocean in magic? Phew, the decisive power has been weakened. There will also be less obstacles for us to fight here on out. Phew, this is so tiring. And unique, let's go help my brother Al. Your brother? Is he another character? Well, Petit Chu and I can't be the only members of the team. We don't have quite... We don't quite think that highly of ourselves. We certainly aren't as strong as you or Paimon. Paimon can't even fight, calm down. <laughs> Al covered our escape when we retreated, and now that Narcissus power is waning, let's go help him. Well then, let's go. I'm sorry y'all, my throat is going through it this morning. Okay. What on earth? Is this fish? Uh, this water is such a bother. Ah, shoot! Uh, give me that. Oh my god, that's awful. That's so rude. Narcissus evil bubble formations. Use condensed water planks or the terrain to approach and extract the hydrogranum. Oh, so this is what hydrogranum does now. That's dumb. Oh, they are fighting over there. No! Leave me alone! Does this not count as a slime? 
Oh, that's Al. He's a bird. I love that bad combat. You know, the combat music, I wasn't really that impressed with at first, but a lot of it's grown on me. It really has. Ah, Al, you're safe. I was so worried. Ah, my dear Petitu, and you too, Ion. We meet again at last. In those darkest days, I caught of you and drew strength to fight on from those thoughts. Thank you, noble warriors, you who have come forth to uphold the cause of justice. Why, had I arms as slender as yours, I would tip my hat and honor you. There's no need to be so prim and proper. Anne introduces you and Paimon to Al and explains what happened. Uh, but why is a finch order older brother a duck? Why a duck, you ask? Are such definitions important? I have a supple body, an iron will, and webbed feet with which to tread water. Of these, I am proud, and that is enough. And Petit Chu is Petit Chu. The sphere is the shape closest to perfection, and the most complicated of all shapes. I am most proud of my sister. Uh, seriously, brother, what are you talking about? Um, I don't know. We shouldn't dwell too much on the details. We of the members of the Nartitzen Kreutz adventure team are disparate indeed, but we have one goal. We shall save Princess Lydus, and we shall defeat the fell dragon Narcissus. Well said. I am the person who knows only that the... The one who stands before me is a noble and valiant knight who possesses the iron will needed to defeat Narcissus. That is enough for me. Usually, the mightier the will, the larger the form needed to be its vessel, as in, it is the case of Narcissus. This knight's stature is much like mine, and yet... Ah, oh, seriously, the person last thing Paimon understood here was Narcissus. You're always going on about Narcissus this and Narcissus that, but what is it really? Look above Princess Lyris' tower. That is Narcissus. That guy? Oh god, it's a giant oceanid. But that is the fell dragon, Narcissus. The dragon who invaded the Narcissan Kreutz kingdom. And its wings are very huge and frightening. But it's an oceanid, isn't it? Well, unique and Paimon, you have seen much. What then should a dragon look like? Well, if you're talking about a dragon we fought before, they'd be... Oh, see? Look at this. This is all... Uh, the bottom two you probably would not get if you didn't do um, Zhongli's second story quest or Nahida's second story quest. Uh, I'm gonna talk about... A, uh, what's, what, did, what could they possibly be familiar with? Probably a pep. A being whose form cannot be grasped by humanity, who can summon all manner of servants. Oh, my dialogue choice doesn't even matter. <laughs> That does sound quite like Narcissus. Inscrutable and a master of many servants. That must have been a grueling battle. Very impressive. No, no, we've definitely met other dragons before. Uh, Azaha. Who became the embodiment of primal energies in Liwa's enemy. I see. So what is it being as evil as Narcissus then? No, no, not at all. And how are they different? Narcissus represents primordial regression and aggregation and is our foe. Well, uh, but Asaha's from Liyue. There's a huge difference, right? No, we've definitely met other dragons before. Are you talking about Dvalin? What? Dvalin's a whole different story from Oceanids. Dvalin's super blue, its wings are huge, and it can fly. Oh, what? what? That's exactly like the felt dragon. Uh, Paimon's starting to get confused about what counts as a dragon. Uh... It's kind of a good question, because the dragons are supposed to be the first inhabitants of Tavad, but we do we really know what they look like back then? At this time, we are the heroes challenging the wicked dragon, and he is the wicked dragon. This is sufficient. Huh, this must be what Al means to say, as a rose by any other name would just smell just as sweet. That is precisely the case, dear Petit Chu. Were you not called Petit Chu, would you, you would still be my dearest younger sister. So long as that's the tower where your princess sleeps in, the one lurking atop the tower is the fell dragon Narcissus, is that right? No, I fear. As I stated previously, he is not here now, which is why we were able to win our way over here easily. That up there is the dragon's hatred made manifest. That's so complicated. Can it just be an ordinary-ish statue? Like you know, Princess Narcissus is commanding his underlings to make an image of him on the highest tower to show off his greatness and force all the people of the land to look upon him or something. 
Well, you have made a reasonable point, Paimon. But if that is the case, then we should still have seen it before the Petit Chu made the foul water disappear, right? But instead, Narcissus' evil has melded with the waters, which is why his wicked intent crystallized into that image once the waters were drained. Is that seriously how it happened? The fell dragon is truly terrifying. My talents hurt just by looking at him. Well, we have our knight unique, so we should be fine even if he is present. Yes, it's just a little dragon. <laughs> yeah, that's so unique for you. Let us move on then. With you by our side, we have nothing to fear. I I have plenty to fear. I, I have a feeling about where this is going to go. I think we know where this is about to go. I'm going to have to fight him. What on earth am I doing? Hello? Oh, more fish? I'm actually running really low on fish, so this is good. Oh, look at that. Free Primo gems. Why would anyone want... Look, Xiao. <gasps> it's a frog! Sorry. I, I want more free fish. Who the hell are you? Jack! Have you heard of Jet? Jack. Thank goodness you are safe. Hmm, as I thought, you were the ones who emptied the water out. Excellent, excellent. If I had hands like yours, yellow and white ones, I would be applauding already. Dear friend, please do so some respect. Petit Chu is doing her best. Hmm, you are right, I suppose. She has done nothing wrong, ultimately. Dot, dot, dot. Forget it. The yellow and white ones here, who are they? Yellow and white? You mean us? Who else would I mean? Does Petit Chu look yellower to you? Or does Anne? They're all blue. <laughs> all right, all right, Paimon. Please don't be angry. Jack, this is the knight unique and Paimon. Hmm, a knight, you say? I suppose this Paimon is the squire. <laughs> no, no, come on. Why does everyone call Paimon that? <laughs> Paimon's no squire. Paimon's a bard whose task is to sing about my adventures. Hmm, is that how it is? No wonder Paimon's such a good talker. <laughs> Hey, you stop that. Unique and Paimon's gonna come up with a lively lime rick to give you a licking the likes of which you've never seen. Anyway, we're companions, right? Companions! I see. Then you are no some minor feudal warrior, and not in the usual sense anyway. Are you then some honorary knight, one with a title that comes with little benefit? Well, Unique is an honorary knight, but he got it from Mondstadt for hero heroically doing battle with Storm Terror. And you are a dutiful, capable warrior. Very good. In that case, welcome to the orchestra, Jack. What? I'm not. I'm not good at, mu at music, dude. The name is merely an analogy, for we weave resistance like an orchestra in our struggle against Narcissus as we seek to rescue Miss Lyris. Uh, miss. That's right. Isn't Lyris a princess? Well, both terms refer to the same person, but leaving that aside, we should. Listen well, the title princess is a rigid hierarchical term of address, a product of an oppressive system. It was a title whose merit is birth, not labor or wisdom. Uh, here we go again. If the universe were a more rational one, there would be no gods, no kings, and certainly no princes nor princesses. Nor would there be mystical powers that which only a few may wield. Do you follow me this far? Didn't you put your name on your organization as well? Yeah, an orchestra must have a conductor, lest no music be made out of cacophony. What the hell are you talking about, dude? <laughs> uh, this sounds really deep, but it's also confusing Paimon. But not doing anything all day would be while being able to enjoy delicious sweet madams is pretty nice. Is there anything wrong with that? See, if there are some who will reap the benefits just by doing no labor, then there must be some who shall have to do more to compensate. Like me! <laughs> Uh, thanks a lot, Unique. And uh, sorry, Primon promises that she'll eat less in the future. Honest. Totally. This has been a very interesting conversation, but please allow me to interject. Dear Jack, good night. We may now begin discussing our next course of action in our rescue of Princess Lyris. Hmm. Silencing voices you do not want to hear, I see. Oh, Unique, come see the represent inherent in the system. Help! Help! Al suppressing me. Jack, you. Jack... Al isn't doing that. He's a good person. He wouldn't bully you. Uh, dear sister, do not lose your temper over this. 
If you have more to say, Jack, why don't we find a corner and settle this like gentlemen, hmm? Hey, we have the same goal, y'all. Please, everyone, aren't we comrades? We've all gathered to rescue Princess or Miss Lyris, after all. Hmm, we count as such, I suppose. We shall cooperate, even though my final goal is to create a more beautiful world for Miss Lyris. Let us shake hands, then, comrades. You have wings, and I have webbed feet. If you think these are apt replacements for hands, then we shall do so, comrade. They're not cheeky. Are they trying to... Oh, they should have tried animating that. Please get along with him, Al. Of course, dear sister. Do not worry. We are reunited in one cause. All right, all right. Now that the problem is solved. Huh, problem. But this is a manifestation of a deeper issue. <sighs> okay. So what do we do next, Anne? <clears throat> oh, right. I almost forgot that we were here to save the princess. Why? I was starting to think that brought back such capable help. Just to let them listen to two boys squabble. After the situation, ask Al and Jack to explain. I need a moment to cool off. And it's having a tough time too, huh? Can we talk to everyone? Oh, we can only talk to Anne. <laughs> You're pretty difficult yourself. He wasn't always like this. He once had a really good heart and loved to cry. He would even take care of younger children, but one day he said he would never cry again, and later he changed. This might be due to Renee. Who's Renee? Uh, uh, sorry, where was I? Right, our course of action. You should ask Jack and the others. He and Al might argue a lot, but they're actually quite good friends. Renee, huh? I just realized we are right under Fontaine City. This is really interesting that we're actually under the city. Oh wait, no we're not. <laughs> I thought we were under the city itself, sorry. Petit Chu? Oh, it activated the cutscene immediately. Jack, you... Paimon, don't. Hmm? Is there anything I need to do? <laughs> Allow me to speak first then, Honor Knight and Paimon. Concerning the tower before us, Narcissus has been unable to overcome it. As such, the princess is still safe. At the time when all seemed lost, the princess gave her greatest treasure to us, and that was the time that belonged to her. Huh? She gave you her what now? Time? Uh, after she lost that time, the princess and the tower she dwells in both fell into a stagnant, dreamless slumber. In remembrance of her, we named our fallen realm the Anapausis. It means Anna pause. Anna is under pause effect. <sighs> Because it completely stagnated, Narcissus has also been unable to taint anything within. That's more or less our situation. What do you mean more or less a situation? Firstly, how would someone give anyone else their time? But it's true. Princess Elyris did share her time with us. Narcissus would constantly plot to invade, but with the time she gave us, we became far stronger. For example, my brother Al can usually only defeat one foe at once. But with more time, he can win his four or even five at one go. A most vivid example. Thank you for explanation, dear Petit Chu. <laughs> well, I hope you understand now, Unique and Paimon. Not at all. Yeah, how do you even give your time to other people? <laughs> do those details not matter? Is this not similar to how feudal nobles would hire sharecroppers? Sharecroppers? What are you talking about? Are you trying to say that exchanging time for pay is a form of giving your time for to others? Only a very small part of the wealth a sharecropper creates will belong to him. If this is understood and regarded as normal by all, then what is there about the situation that is hard to comprehend? Ugh, he got time on. Why are we fighting with an oceanid? There's just too much oddity at play here. Let's just leave this aside for now. Uh, right. Paimon totally gets it. Artisus has spent long years since searching for the princess's treasure. Only its power can cause time and a tower to flow again, and only then will its locked gates open. Thus, he summoned waters brimming with wicked intent to drown the kingdom, and created underlings unnumbered and many magical devices besides. All of this was done as the Narcissen Kreut adventure team members down to hunt us down and seize the treasure that should have been in our hands. Wait, wait, should have? 
Before, we had another brother, Nay. In those terrifying days, he took the treasure and fled alongside us, but he dissolved into, into waters while covering us. I miss him so much. We were very good friends. I hate the dragon. Even I know that these feelings are not good, but I miss Nay. He was like my real brother, just like Al. Oh, we're sorry for your loss. But if that's the case, how are we supposed to save Princess Lyris? The treasure has sealed the tower. It can only be opened again with said treasure. Well, when they, uh, how do I put this? While they were consolidating our rear lines, we of Orchester Jack obtained some key intelligence that has allowed us to ascertain the treasure's location. Really? You have? Of course. It is right over there. Huh? In the sky? As in the water in the sky? Before Nay dissolved, he used the last of his strength to purify a patch of water in the firmament. It was there that he hid the treasure. What an irony. It seems that Narcissus has gotten too used to looking down upon the citizenry below, and has not been in the habit of looking up. And there, the treasure has been hidden all along. I see. Well, it does sound something that Nay could come up with. How do we get up there, though? Besides teleporting... Mm, could Petit Chu and Al take us up there? A very imaginative idea, unfortunately impractical. If we go up there, we should find a fountain full of magic. Options may open to us once should we reach it. Are you feeling better now, Anne? Thank you, Paimon, but you need not worry. We must destroy the three bubble formations set up by Narcissus before we head up. What are those exactly? They are underhanded chat contraptions powered by Hydrograna that can bombard intruders from a great distance. Perhaps you might have already seen one on the way here. And speaks true. The road ahead will be vastly more perilous if we do not first destroy these formations. Hmm. Kate should have been in charge of eliminating them before we attacked, but it seems he might have been smashed into sea foam already. What? Don't say that. We should be hoping that he made it. He is our comrade in the end, isn't he? In that case, our next task is the destruction of the bubble formations. After that, let's go to the small fountain and see what we find there. In that case, leave it to Unique. From what Petit Chu and Al said, it seems only his attacks will work. Uh, uh Leave it to me, guys. You have my thanks. Alright, let me lead the way. Oh, we are still on Act 1. Help. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I take my time with the dialogue because, uh, number one, I stink at reading, and number two... I stink at reading. <laughs> okay, we want to go this way. Huh. Luckily, I have double animo, so double animo is going to make this super easy. Did we do it? Ah! What the hell is this? Teamwork is dreamwork. Fallen leaves adorn my night. Oh, you are very weak to hi to Pyro. Thank you, C6 Bennett, for actually being useful here. Proceed along. The the blah 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 because the dialogue goes by way too fast. I also, I am running double Animo, which is making this a lot easier. Wait, there's a treasure chest over here. Ah! I got trolled. If it's useful, I'll take, I'll take it. it. Wow, five whopping Primo gems. Nope, nope. Oh shit. Go, Kazuha, go! Oh, wait, I can use this to block it. Oh, oh. Ah! I'm so dumb, y'all. Oh, go, Shao, go! Ooh! Hello? Where is this asshole? Come here! Bennett, you need way more energy recharge. What is going on? Pyro, more pyro, more pyro. Just throw a bunch of pyro at this guy. 
What the hell are they talking about? I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm missing the chat because I'm trying to, you know, fight. <laughs> also, I'm sorry if my nose feels so stuffed. I've been, I've been on Accutane for six months now, and it's really, really badly affecting my nose. <laughs> Actually, I think I just finished six months. Oh, shit. This is being by... It, I have powered by hydro. How do I get over there? Do I hit this? Hello? Can you hurry? Thank you. Oh shit. You suck. Ah, aha. Dumbass. Oh shoot. Okay, and then we'll go up here, and then up here, and then up here like this, right? And then. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> This isn't even slippery. I'm just jittery on my controller. Yeah. Ah. Where is he? You. Windstrider. Order guide you. Get out of here. Wow. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about this mysterious bubble cannon anymore. Well done, soldiers. Assemble. Huh? <laughs> Wonderful. It seems that Colonel Kate is still here. Let's go meet up with him. Colonel Kate? Anne, you look well. That is good. These two are reinforcements then. Uh, yes, they are. Halt. I do not wish to know soldiers' names. Amidst cruel battle, anybody can be turned into ruptured bottles and scattered foam at any time. Knowing the names of troops will only cast a shadow upon our back final victory. You are a crazy squirrel. I just need to know one thing. Are there the reinforcements you sought? Yes, but... Very good. Fresh hands will help us continue our suppression of the two remaining bubble formations. Uh, about that bubble formation... Next time, soldier, you will give your report first before asking questions. Yes, the formations are places of unparalleled peril, but not to mention the three mighty subordinates that Narcissus has played with, placed within them. Well, about that, we already cleared all the formations. What? Why didn't you say so earlier? We have been trying to tell you, but you haven't been listening. Ha <laughs> ha Well then, it's good to see everyone well. So, Anne, who are these people again? I'm Unique, and this is Paimon. Pleased to make your acquaintance. It is a pleasure that new blood like you it, are to have new blood like you in Kate's resistance front. Let us fight for Princess Lyris and her conquista. Wait, how many names does this troop have? Are you guys the same thing as the Narcissus Kreutz adventure team? Uh, let me think. We are now the same thing as how I would put it. Indeed, we have the same objective and the plan of action. It is only because I have more combat experience that I am a colonel with my own force. Where's the rest of your team? We charged bravely into the bubble formation. Yes, but where's your team? We charged bravely into the bubble formation and asked for the rest. Uh, please just don't ask. It seems like Colonel Kate's got problems too. Well, he is a bump against immense firepower, should I say water power. What's next for you? I plan on going behind enemy lines to see what can be done there. After all, it should be quite easy to go up there now that the bubble formation has been broken. I mean, I can't lose to some new recruit, can I? This isn't a competition. We're trying to save the freaking... What's her face? Regardless, I return when the sun sinks into the sea. Victory at hand. Let us meet again before the high tower. Colonel Kate bounces away. What? There's neither sun nor sea here. Since the bubble formation has gone, let us head to the little fountain. It's just over there. We are still not done with Act 1. Holy shit. Uh, I'm going to redeem this furniture. Y'all, I still have Kasady's mask because I'm, I don't want to redeem it. Kasady, literally, I think Secret Sucker uh, Cleansing Ritual is the best world quest we have in this game. Not Adanada. I think people are being absolutely masochistic about a loving of 10 hour quest line with the Adanada. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Mori. Hello. Mori, no! Bad people. No, I don't want to fight you! Oh, God. Why is it attacking us? Huh? 
Why are you attacking us? Useless. Useless. Silly dog, Mori. They're good people. Wolf, understood. Give paw. Uh, you really are a dog. You and Paimon shake hands with Mori. It's a slightly slippery experience, as one might expect from a dog made of water. Great, now that we're all introduced, don't attack them, okay, Mori? Ah, so you're a dog. This makes so much more sense. Does it? Does it really? How does Mori resemble a dog at all? Didn't Al say that? What? Don't you go believing that purpose defines essence nonsense, and even if you do, Paimon won't. But that's what Mori is, though. A silly dog. Ah, whatever. If an ocean can be an evil dragon, then a forest boar can be a dog. All right, all right. I am a silly dog, yes. Woof. And you've been a good boy, haven't you, guarding this place? So is Mori a member of your team? No, I mean, Mori is a dog. A duck, a dog, a finch, and a squirrel can join. So why can't a dog? Mori is Mori and must protect the princess. Is that the princess right there? A long time ago, when Mori played here with the princess, Al, Petit Chu, Nay, and Jack. Is that the princess? <laughs> See, I thought the princess back there was going to be Anne and not this little oceanid. Only the princess remains, so I protect her. So that's Princess Lyris. Right. It was mentioned earlier that the princess lost her treasure, which is why everything stagnated, so this was it was. Isn't the princess supposed to be in the tower, though? That's right. This is only a statue of her. Seriously? It looks another looks like it, but not really? Woof woof, not princess? Nope, Princess Lyris is in her tower. There are two princesses. No, silly, this one's not real. Woof woof, not princess? Well, try giving it a sniff. Sniffs. <gasps> not princess. Told you so. Well, it's an understandable mistake. This is Anna Pauses, and the boar is a dog, and an ocean is an evil dragon. An evil dragon turned out to be a statue, and the squirrel is a colonel. Exactly. Huh. Paimon can feel our sense of what's real and not slipping away the longer we stay here. Um, well, let's not sweat the small stuff, right? Hmm? Okay, Mori, be a good doggy and descend the tower, and then we'll meet up with everyone. What about you, Anne? Well, me? I'm going up with Paimon, and you need to reclaim the princess's treasure. I see. Okay. Bye-bye. Well then, what do we do now? Use these bubbles. The princess would make these back when she would play with us, and they would fly up, up really high. That sounds like the Hydro Abyss Mage attack. Hey, don't say that about the princess's magic. However the case, we just need to settle in the bubble, and then it'll take us up there, right? That's right. In the meantime, I'll do my best to control the bubbles' direction. Hello? This is still act Whatever this is still want. act one. Holy shit. Get it. It's not my concern. Okay, let's do let's go in then. Let's see the statue. Oh, there's an orchestrian back here. Don't forget the orchestrian. Enter the bubble. Wow, we're flying. Oh, the kingdom sure looks deserted from up here. Man, I cannot believe this. What are they talking about? Weren't we... Just flying up into the sky in a bubble? Yes, we were. And we kept going up, up, up until we crashed headfirst into the water, right? Yes, is there something wrong? Uh, there's so much wrong with this, Apaimon doesn't even know where to start. Perhaps this is just one of those magical aspects. Uh, you know what, Paimon's not gonna ask. The princess's treasure should be somewhere around here, right? Yes, it is here, protected by the three-layered seal. That looks like the freaking core from Sector 5 in Cold Lyoko. It looks like there's some threads of flowing water connected to the big bubble. It seems as if the bubble formation we're here will not attack us. Hmm, in that case, let us use it to break the seals. We just need to guide its projectiles so the bubble rings connected in the flowing water. Yeah, those bubbles are pretty scary. 
One, two, three. It looks like there are three strands of water. Once we deal with them, the treasure shall be ours. That's right. It's in your hands, Knight Unique and Paimon. How the hell? What the hell am I even doing? I have no idea what we even just talked about. Like, it went one in one ear and out the other. The bubble formation that, for some strange reason, doesn't attack you. It helps you unseal treasures, control the currents, and barriers to guide the mist bubble to the ringed device at the end. This is going to be a lot of big branding that I am not prepared to do, y'all. <laughs> All right, first, we're going to get to teleporter. That's really cool that they put a teleporter back here. Actually, it's the only teleporter for Anna Pauses. Hmm, this mist bubble's way slower when it attacked us. Something's blocking the mist bubble. That's no good. What do I do? I don't know how to do this. How do I swap around the currents? Is there a creature I need? Is it down below? Bro, my brain literally... Oh, shit. Take me back up. Oh, no. Well, luckily I got the teleporter. There's quality here. Oh, and a hydro sealy? Get me back up there. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. My brain literally is looking at this like, what the hell? Oh, do I need this? Oh, I need this. What did I just do? Oh, it's Mora. Like that? Okay, that's one unsealed. And then we go this way? Oh, we want you, obviously. We're going to steal your power. Oh, we need an armored crab. Where's the armored crab? I only see the seal. Where's the crab? Oh wait, duh! Where's the crab? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. But where's the crab? I'm just popping the bubble over and over again. Oh, shit. Oh my god, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Ah! Who the hell are you? Get out of here. Oh, we did something. Wait, we don't even have to hit the crab. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm doing underwater, y'all. This quest is actually teaching me how to do the underwater mechanics. I'm gonna be honest, I'm still not a fan of swimming in Fontaine. I know people really like this, but I'm just kind of whatever about it. Oh, this is covered in bear. Well, n now what do I do? Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I just needed sound resonance. Boom. Oh, is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh, that's the quest objective right there. Wait, I want to see what's back here, though. <laughs> oh, this is just Mora. As if I didn't have enough Mora. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna grab this and then we can move on and hopefully finish Act 1, please. Who the hell pinged me? We finally found it! The most precious of treasures. It looks like a pocket watch. It seems like it's not moving anymore. Sorry, I was replying to stuff. Well, it has been in the water all this time, so it should have been taken down long ago, right? This is full of Princess Lyris' precious time. Let's go back to the tower and meet up with our friends. Break the tower seal so we can finally see what's behind this tower. I'm just going to swim directly there. It looks like I can just do that. Whee! Oh shit, Chow, don't die. You're back! Wow, we got the whole circus show here. Uh, Colonel Kate and Morty linked up with us while you were out. <laughs> we're back with the princess's treasure. Well done, soldier. You made a fine contribution. The Resistance Front is proud of you. Kate, now isn't the time. Not so fast, Colonel. Unique is a context of the orchestra, not cannon fodder in some no-name army. Huh, your orchestra can't hold Unique, not unless you want to name it after him instead. In one of your rank, you may as well give it to Unique, no. The soldiers bleed while the commanders steal the glory. This is quite ordinary, but you, now you're special. A colonel. A colonel does not, does not nothing, but even lets his troops take credit for victory. Stop fighting over me, all of you! Oh my god, I'm tired of this. You sound like a few- Wait, I wish this was me. I wish I had men fighting over me. <laughs> what are y'all even talking about? Oh, uh, that's it. Mori, get him. Bad person. Mori pulls Jack over. Kate laughs at him, only to also be knocked over by Mori. The altercation eventually claimed by Alan Petit choose media medi mediation. Honestly. Morty's really reliable at the times like this, you know, in some ways. Uh, let's just get to business, shall we? Alright, we'll get nowhere if we keep arguing. And the more we go nowhere, the, the more we're gonna argue. Yes, you're both right. Let's have a speech then, you know. The right is in kind. Eh, <laughs> but... I approve of Paimon's decision, but is it not just the times that an adventurer's team's leader should step up to the plate? But I'm not good at speeches. Can you really call me the leader? As surely as I am the colonel, I affirm to you that you would be the best officer to this adventure team. My views on the title of colonel aside, we are in accord. I don't know much about leaders of the glory or whatever, but if not for you, and if not for Unique and Paimon who were brought here, I don't know what would have become of me. Night, Unique. Paimon, what do you say? This is between you and them. Unique means that since everyone says so, you should just accept. Well, in that case, what should a leader say in times like this? Uh, let Paimon think. Since we have Princess Lyris' treasure next, we just need to enter the tower and rescue her, right? You just, you just need to encourage everyone to do just that before we start. Dot dot dot. Paimon, do you have any interest in being a leader? Well, how about you, Unique? Uh, hey, you can't do that! Look, we're just here to support you, girl. We're just travelers. Whatever the case, you, only you can be the leader of this adventure team. That's not what everyone wants, so stop trying to push it off to everyone else. We support you. Oh, alright, alright. Ugh, this leader business used to be so much easier. Uh -huh. No matter what the name of our organization is, we are all part of the Nartzis and Kreutz adventure team. We have a common goal to rescue Princess Lyris. Yeah, Miss Lyris. Or Miss Lyris, and we intend to save the Nurses and Kreutz Kingdom. Republic. Oh my god, Jack, shut up! 
and restore the lands and waters here to the original gleaming slimmer through the Reconquista so that the sunflowers may once more flourish. Am I not right about that? That's right. We've been experiencing many battles and partings during the long years of conflict and many team members we once had are no longer with us. But I won't forget the times we spent together. We'll always be friends. That's right. Even if I am our leader, I am everyone's friend first and foremost. That goes for the same for you, Colonel Kate. Jack, don't forget your friendship over differences in ideals and perspectives. And it's being super mature right now, huh? Bravo. Come now, stop teasing me. With Knight, Unique, and Paimon's aid, we were finally able to obtain the princess's treasure. Time that was once frozen will flow again and we will rescue her. For that, Unique and Paimon, I thank you. You will always be our friends, and I believe our princess will also be glad to call you such. Okay, I'm done now. Bravo! Alright, so what do we do next? I think it's time to unleash the treasure's power here on the stagnant tower. This time, time should flow once more. Like this? Oh shit, the door opened. Whoa! My thanks, Uniqua. Now... Unfortunately, I fear that none of us know what will happen next. But since the princess's tower has been unsealed, we should move as soon as we can, right? Right you are, Petit Chu. Let us go. Holy shit, we're still on Act 1! Oh god! Oh, we are surrounded. Ah, shit! Get this villain out of here. Oh, they're all fighting with us. Oh, we shout shreds that guy. Wait, there's a second guy. Holy shit. You know what? Evil conquering. Oh my god, that's so funny that... Are they even hurting him? They're all Hydro. Wow, Shao just shredded through- Why are there two of them?! Adventure time. Holy shit! I'm going in. Into the wind. Time. The birds call. One with nature. Y'all got so much HP too. Oh, Zhongli just popped those guys like a balloon. Holy. Why do Narcissus little minions all need so many titles? The more useless the person, the more hats they need. Actually, they may be worried mighty warriors who have caused as much harm during previous engagements. If the battle seemed easy, it was due to your great might. Sorry, Knight Unique, but our attacks can do nothing against these henchmen, so it's all up to you. Bit of a close shave, I'd say. You know, but where is Princess Lyris? It doesn't look like there's any path ahead. To be honest, I didn't think this far either. Let us keep going up then, shall we? How do we do that? You can fly up there, Paimon. Well, even if Paimon can do that, what would she do to encounter Narcissus' minions? Even if all the kingdom's treasure were up there, it would only feel like we found them if you were there, too. Go up, you say. Uh, I, I understand. We do, one and all, have a certain amount of power. It is all magic given to us by the princess, yes, but we can do some things with it. But if we do, we were all born from the same source. I don't see why you would be unable to understand and accept this. Has this not happened before? I know, I know all this, in theory. I just hate these things. I don't know why, but I just do. Don't make such a face, Anne. We were all born in the same waters, and we are only this way because we bound ourselves into different shapes using thin films to keep the princess company. Coming together, once again, for her sake is not strange at all. So I think they were all human. And then they turned into these creatures. As long as we forsake our forms and join together, we can produce greater magic. This way, we can send you to the tower's apex. Wait, but if you do that, you're going to sacrifice yourselves? You need not worry, friend. We all came from the same body of water, so giving up our forms is not the same as you would call death. Pure waters can turn into creatures of all sorts. Such changes do not only go away. Yep, even if we cannot adventure or fight alongside you, we still can still progress further. Knight Unique, what do you say? This is not our decision to make. This is your story, Anne. You're right, Unique, but... Give us our orders, ma'am. The tower seals have been broken, which means they can no longer hold Narcissus back. Every moment counts. All right, I'm counting on you all. Orders received. Leave it to us. Go with Unique and Paimon, Anna. Make sure you save the princess. Hmm. I mi leave Miss Lyris in your hands. In that case, dear Petit Chu, Mori, Colonel Cake, and Jack. 
Okay, bye bye. Oh my god, it's just like what happened at Mori's Fountain. Our power is derived from the princess. If so resolved, we can manifest it once more. <sighs> Pull yourself together, Anne. Let's go, Knight Unique. Paimon. Oh, they all sacrificed themselves. Holy shit, we are still not done. Uh. Where are we going? Once we rescue Princess Lyris, she should be able to bring them forth once again. Hopefully Princess Lyris didn't turn freaking crazy. Hmm? It's just a portal. Where does this one lead, though? Hmm, I'm not sure either. To be honest, I've never considered what would happen after we entered the tower. Oh, well, in that case, let us proceed with caution. Oh, uh, let's just see what's on the other side. Yes, we should be careful. We're the only ones the princess can rely on. Holy shit, we're still on Act 1. Unsolicited. And all the more valuable for it. I guess we're going in. Hey, there's a stand here, just like in the, the Melusine quest. Uh, the Ancient Colors quest. Yeah, this is the same way you teleport in the Ancient Colors quest line. Where the hell are we? Huh? Paimon's kind of dizzy. There are so many books here. Is this a library? This place. The library's existed since long, long before we arrived. Their content seemed to be decent dramas. Children love to read books, but there is much they won't understand, and so they will often ask adults to read the stories to them. In the books, there is an evil dragon. There must be heroes who hunt the dragon. If there is a mage, there must be a wandering knight. The Reconquista must come to pass, and the princess must be saved. And, of course, a chime will sound, and the tale of adventure will come to a halt. Yet, it will not end. There will be another adventure, and another, and another one after that, until the children grow up and leave this place. And? Oh, oh, sorry, it felt like memories and feelings suddenly flooded into my mind. How strange. Well, as long as you're all right, Paimon thought you might have been bewitched by Narcissus magic or something. Oh, that might actually be so. Well, what do we do next? I'm not sure either. Whatever the case, let's have a look around. Yep, first off, there is a door over there, but it looks like there's no way through it. You little guys can get across? Hey, you're Anne's knight, you know. It would be pointless if you don't come along. <laughs> That's right. The tiles stick out like a sore thumb. Might be some kind of path. Paimon doesn't know either, but let's go all the same. Holy shit, we are on Act 2. Kingdom through the Looking Glass. Hardships experienced. Let me see what this achievement is for. To obtain the Holy Blade that might defeat the Demon King, the knight broke into the ancient city, sealed using magic. And story, keep moving ahead. Oh, this is some scary place we're in right now. Um, I'm gonna take a bit of a break because I've been talking for an hour straight. This quest line is gonna take us forever. <laughs> I'll be right back. Zhongli, shut up about your Osmanthus wine. Okay, we are back. I was out for like half an hour eating food and it, I feel so much better. <laughs> I can actually keep going. I, I think we are halfway done with the quest line. Act 1 is just really, really long because it's just really, really long. How do I... Oh, do I need Hydro? Oh, shit. Oh, continuously apply Hydro? Perfect. This. Oh, do I need more? Oh, I think I need more. Is it two? Oh, no, it's three, just like Animal Grana. Boom. Ta-da! I did it. I'm glad they actually were came, helped you be prepared to not have a Hydro character in your party. You should have Barbara at this point, but... That's a... A Fell Shield of Narcissus? <laughs> Does that name fill our adventure tip up until now, huh? This is the center of the world. The castle where the dragon lurks. The tower that imprisons the princess. Sometimes it is the lost city of Yith. Sometimes Arcadia. What are you talking about? <laughs> Here, many untrodden realms have been conquered. Here, many heroes have defeated evil dragons. This is a place that brims with magic. I was never really able to understand it. Children could see through a stone wall and the imaginary griffins that whirled free in the distant cloud-filled skies. 
These four pools would, in different adventure tales, be the four seas and sometimes the four cardinal realms of the world. I couldn't understand these feelings either, but to accompany the children on their adventures, I played all sorts of roles. Are those more of these su suddenly emerging memories? Yes. Um, on, are you alright? I... I don't know. I feel very strange. These memories are so beautiful, but terrifying too. Look there, atop that small fountain. That is the holy blade of the Narzitzenkreutz. Is it really? It looks, uh, kinda cheap. Behold, Paimon, the holy blade. It's like that one time with the Sword of Brilliant Valor. Oh, okay, Paimon gets it. It's the tale behind the blade and one's belief in a holy blade, right? With this sword in hand, Paimon bets the kids sure feel like invincible heroes, ready to take the skies and do battle with their enemies, huh? Appropriately sized branches and drying poles could also, in the bright tale, be the holy blade. But gee, one day a certain woman brought several wooden swords for the children to play with so that the drying poles could be stopped being used for fights. And who was that? I do not know. It must have been someone who once lived here. Yeah, it does seem like the kingdom was once a lively place with all sorts of people in it. When you think about it like that, the Holy Blade must have been very important. A normal sword can cleave flesh, but the Holy Blade can cleave spirit and will. As such, even impervious dragons of warmless illusions are no match for it. If the story of our adventure team is to reach its end, we will need the blade. Is it really that powerful? It just looks like some cheap wooden sword. Let's just take its holiness at face value. Sure, if you say so, but it doesn't look like we can reach it right now. Let's continue exploring. We will find some way to re break this magical bubble. Keep moving ahead. Okay. Oh, shit. I got bad news for you. Oh my gosh, Shao just shreds through these guys. Holy... Is there anything around here? Make sure to look around. You'd, you'd be surprised what you find here around the staircase. Oh. I thought that was a treasure chest for me. Is there really nothing around here? That's so boring, man. They could have put like a Hydroculus over here or... You know, something. Hello? What the hell are we looking at? Xiao, you are so feral. <laughs> Keep moving ahead. Oh, shit. Uh, guess what? I'm not doing this guy's mechanics. Disappear. Oh, we won. So this way? One man's stone is another man's gem. Yes, old man, I know. Let's go this way. Keep moving ahead. Why would there be a bubble formation here? No! Come here! What? Actually, why is there a bubble formation here too? Was this meant to prevent invaders from kidnapping the princess? Yes, that is the case. Also, we ran into some enemies earlier. Didn't you say that when Princess Lyris gave you her treasure, the tower stagnated and even Narcissus could not enter? There's a lot of stuff here that doesn't make sense. What is going on? I don't know either. I never thought about what would happen after we entered the tower. Also, this place feels very strange. I, I don't understand. I should never have been here before, but I find myself recalling so many things. Do you two not feel it? No, I think y'all lived here as humans at one point. Hmm. Well, do you know what this place is, Anne? This was the assembly hall of the Narzitzenkreutz Institute. The ins- the- Yo, oh, this is from the- 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 the, the Melusine quest. The children would study here normally. I remember now. This was a lovely place. There was no sunlight, but it was always lively here. The children were all of different dimensions. All of them as different as the two of you. But here they would study together, listen to tales of the Hydra Archon, and tales older still. Are we talking about the previous Hydra Archon? I mean, that some children were very small, and some were somewhat larger. Hey, Paimon might be larger, she's got a big heart. 
Anyway, what about the princess? Was she a child too? Would the children hear stories about her? I... I do not know. Huh. Why does Paimon get the feeling that the story is starting to drift away from the princess ever since we teleported here? No, this place must have something to do with her. We must be able to find her at the end of this road. She will be happy to see us. Well, you're the local. Paimon trusts you. Keep moving ahead. Okay. Well, let's continue on. Princess Lyris is waiting for us at the end of the line. You hear the sound of a bell. That's the sound of a bell. What? Is someone getting married? What is this we're looking at? An ocean adventure with Anne. What's... Opening the treasure chest had a feather. So I am aware that this feather is very important, wherever the hell it is. This feather is very, very important. The treasure I don't really care much about. Sometimes this feather has the power to advance the story forward and bring it to an end. So yeah, one, I believe you want to put this feather somewhere. I don't know when. We're probably going to put that in a different video. But yeah. Paimon's kind of dizzy. There are so many books here. Is this a library? Wait a minute. Is this that Paimon hasn't fully woken up yet? Or is it deja vu? Haven't these things already happened before? What? There will be another adventure. And another. And another one at that. Dot dot dot. So even though the princess is waiting for us at the end of this road, it's just a bunch of connected loops and no real end? What? We'll be able to leave as long as we find the end of the road. Huh? Do you have any idea, Unique? Let's just go over what we know We know first. Have you noticed anything, Paimon? You're asking Paimon? Uh, hold on a moment. First, the paths here have been connected such that they form a ring, right? In that case, there'd be no getting out. Except that we were able to get on these paths, so there should be a way off of them. There has to be a point where we can break through. Next, we saw that super powerful sword or something. Yes, the Holy Blade of Narzitzenkreutz. It should be a key item in some way, and why do you think that? Well, it looks like a wooden sword, but it had, it was inside a protective barrier. Would all that trouble be necessary if it wasn't important? So Paimon thinks we need to get that sword. Was there any other notable thing? Hmm, Paimon can't think of anything at the moment. But that said, this tile still sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't it? Paimon just didn't make that one up, by the way. When we passed this way before, it did feel weird how this tile was not connected to the others and how it has a different pattern. It could be a trap. Uh, I don't know if it's a trap, necessarily. I think it's a secret way, a secret door. Anyway, let's think of how we can get out of this loop based on the stuff we thought earlier. <laughs> Keep moving ahead. What can we do? We need a way out of here. Oh my god, this reminds me of Hu Tao Story Quest. Now there's two of them. If it, wait, if this is like Hotel Story Quest, then there's a trick. There's a trick to this. Oh, wait, the feather! Oh! But we still kept the feather. Suddenly the feather reappeared in your hands, right? The feather's still here. That's crazy that the feather came back. So we have the sword. What can we do with the sword? Bonk! That meteor is so satisfying. Wow, we are flying. So what can we do with the sword now that we have it? Oh shit. Why are there two of each now? Stabilize. Uh, huh? Into the wind. As one, As with, one with wind and, and cloud. Where's the chest? Oh. And then we go there. I love the music in here, by the way. This this area has such pretty, pretty music. This reminds me of the the church from near. Supposed to be able to do something with this?
Where are we going? So now we have the sword. So what can we do with the sword? You hear the sound of a bell again. We're having so much deja vu. Why are we the only ones that remember? Why are we having amnesia? What is wrong with this place? So now we have the sword. Paimon's kind of dizzy. There's so many books here. Uh, someone wants this tale of adventure to never end. Huh? What are you on about, Unique? You know what? Paimon thought that she hadn't fully woken up yet. It's because we're, we got put in a freaking samsara. Princess Lyris wants this to, uh, wants at the, this at the end of the path. There must be a way. How do I use this thing? That's where we came from, right? I think that's where we came from. I don't know what to do. I guess we just... There's three now. Oh, wow. There's three Hoyoverse. I see what y'all are doing. So creative. Totally creative. Hmm. I, there's, they think they're so big brain. One, two, and then three. My gosh, I'm having a freaking field day over here. What do they want me to do, though? We can't mess with this thing. Can't mess with anything in this room. Oh, shit. Come here. Yatta! Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, these are dead. Yeah, I don't know what they're expecting from us here. Oh my god, there's three of these assholes. Hello. Solidify. I'm going in. Into the wind. Clouds high. The birds call. The wind knows me. Did we win? Ooh, an exquisite. Oh, it's a present chest. Just kidding. Benefits to a life of wandering. Okay, keep moving ahead. Time to go. Where are we going with this? I don't know where to, what to do with the sword. You hear the sound of a bell again. Oh my god, we're in a freaking samsara. I'm losing my mind. Hello? Where do we go now? Someone wants this tale of adventure to never end. We must keep moving forward. There must be a way- Bruh, my brain literally cannot do this. We could just leave. Unless it wants me to go under the elevator. Another trick I think think of is that they want us to go under the elevator. Look for the objective in this area. Bruh, I can't, I don't know. The door's already open, so that means we've exhausted this path. They talked about the door. Girl, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> We got the feather back, but- and we have the sword. A holy sword that bears the special something in writing. I think they want me to go around to the elevator again. I think I need to mess with the elevator somehow. 
Because they obviously wanted me to go all the way around for the chest and stuff like that. But what would they want me to do with the elevator? Yeah, I can't tell what they would want me to do. There's something back here. There's a door! How do I open you? There's a door that I can't open. What do you want me to do? I'm sorry I keep spamming this button, but I just... This is the only way I can get through Genshin freaking puzzles, man. We're back here. The biggest thing I can think of is going under the elevator. Time to go. Let's go under the elevator. There's nothing under here. What about that secret room? There was a secret room around here. Where was it? Open this door! Aha! Just head backwards! Like Hutao's story quest. Bruh. What did we just do? Obtain the holy blade of Narcissenkreutz. Didn't we just get the blade? So what are we doing? Something's wrong here. What? Didn't we just get the blade? What is going on? Wait, something's so wrong about this. Why is this looping again? Go on with the help of the Holy Blade's power. But... Didn't we just get the blade? Jabberwock's Holy Sword. The true Holy Sword. Why do we have two Holy Swords? Time to go. So what do we plan on doing with the sword? Where even are we anymore? <laughs> Bro, my brain is going crazy. It looks like the path leads downward and on upward. That's a really long descent. It's so creepy. Don't worry, Anne. Unique's really reliable and good with the wind glider, too. A real adventure is only filled with challenges, but also with unknowns. The most important thing is to come back from completing those challenges and known zones in one price. We need to find Princess I forgot her name. Let's jump down and reach the end of this story, finally. Where are we going? This looks like an arena. Hmm, Paimon feels like something should happen right now. Feels so uneasy, too. I've been frightened ever since we came down here. Sure, I'll protect y'all. Uh, come on, you've beaten dragons, and you have more faith in yourself. 
I believe in the two of you. I just don't know what we will encounter later. But we'll take everything as it comes. Still, best to be prepared, Unique. We might be in a battle for Narcissus, for all we know. Defeat the dragon. Oh, wait. Stay they alive. name it Narcissus. Oh, if only I had Deluc. I mean, Deluc, I do have him, but he's not in my party. Ah, sh you asshole. Why are you flying? I hate this. Kill the ads! Kill the ads! Oh, you suck. Oh, do we have to fight all our companions? Oh, this makes me so sad. We're fighting the whole troop. Oh, no, not the doggo. They're not even trying to fight back. That's what makes me so sad. Into the wind. Everybody stand back. I'm sorry. Are we hurting her by killing the ads? Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. I don't want to fight them. Oh, we have to fight her again. Solidify. Adventure time. We. I don't have an archer. Gather. Oh my god! I hate. I remember I, why I hate fighting Oceanid so much. Where the hell is she? Girl, come here so I can hit you. Oh my gosh, Shao does so much damage. Oh, you suck. Oh, we beat her. Yay. So why did we meet Narcissus in here? Dot, dot, dot. According to what we said before, the tower has lost its time and thus stagnated as such, no one should be able to open it. But this space is not within the tower. We teleported to a different place from the tower. And that's right, Paimon forgot that happened. But if that's the case... But how? That can't be true. The princess should be in the tower. I mean, that was the adventure team's only hope. If she wasn't, our adventures... Their meaning... Uh, Petitu and the others. But we did take out the biggest threat to the kingdom, didn't we? That's a good thing, right? Yes, you're right, Paimon. Thank you. Thank you both. Anyway, the story's not over. One moment, y'all. Okay. Thanks for the chest. We have to find, we have to find the princess. Where the hell are we going? There's tons of resources here, but who knows how long it'll take us to look through it all. <laughs> Linking with Ingold, Guillotine, and the rest of the old gang will do some ways. I can only hope that they aren't treating old Spellantian too poorly, and I hope my skills haven't rested away either. I hope all goes well. I still want to watch the dough rise as the sounds play outside the window. I still want to watch them grow into fine adults. What are you talking about? Decided to incorporate the Institute for Raising Orphans into Children of Criminals into the public welfare system, considering the ruins of a previous civilization upon which it was situated shall be named. 
The seat of the director was established in honor of the Hydro Archon's great virtue and has been taken up by a gentle natured ocean. The title of vice director is to be taken up by one who displays exceptional moral equality and ability. I have no idea what the hell he just said. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. What is this? Duty will be taken up by Basil A. Elton. What was that idiot thinking? Well, whatever. Might as well have some fun post-retirement. What are they talking about here? According to the ancient theater and mysterious research in here, we believe the documents of Volkler discovered in the Petrichor. The research team from the National Institute of National Philosophy holds that. I, what, are, what are we reading? One serving of flour, one of sugar. What, what, what is this recipe? Uh, it doesn't seem like to be there to be anything relevant. Let's look over there instead, shall we? At the desk. What is this? Huh? There's a book here too. A picture book. Well, that's because of Paima's unique sensibility, you know. Picture books to speak to her better. This book gives me a strange feeling. Let Paimon see. A long time ago, in a place far, far away, there was once a beautiful and kind princess named Lyris, and yep, she's our main character. I don't want this name. That's not what you said before. Do you want to read it too, Anne? Well, in that case, Paimon's going to continue. Um. Oh, come on. It's just a story. This doesn't need to be so fussy. Anyway, protagonist needs an antagonist, an evil one, at least. And our evil antagonist? Well, that's the dragon narcissus. So evil is he that peace-loving people tremble at the sound of his name. Not that he cares about their feelings, though. He's sowed destruction across the land with the searing flames he spewed from his mouth. His great wings turned cities to dust and his burning breath reduced nations to ash. At last, only the princess's realm remained safe. But because the princess worked tirelessly to defend her realm, Narcissus's plot to destroy everything could not succeed. So, in Narcissus's story, I'm the evil villain? This is kind of weird. It started like a storybook, but it also feels like it isn't unique. You got a bigger brain here, and you have to look too. Read carefully. Oh shit, I actually have to- oh god. Oh wait, I think we saw this in the Fontaine livestream! Wow! See, I remember this from the 4.0 livestream, but it didn't have anything to do with anything. They just teased it for a world quest. Oh, are we in the freaking po Winnie the Pooh world from Kingdom Hearts? This is the real Anapausis. Act 3, if she no longer dreams of you. Holy shit. So I just realized this is Anne Pause. Why is it called Anna Pauses? This looks like <gasps> just like in the book Canotila found. Yeah, that's really odd. Paimon wants to say that the book's contents are really weird, but it's really not much when compared to this, is it? Then the world should be like this, not like how it is outside. Children should be able to play under the sun and in the grass without fear of hindrance or harm. This place feels pretty comfy, yeah. Paimon feels way better than she did back when we were adventuring together throughout the kingdom. There was no sunlight there at all. One mystery follows another. Never mind that. This place is really huge. It's gotta be Princess Lyris' garden, right? Say, Unique, when our adventures are over, why don't we find a place like this to live? We can eat tasty fruits and lay lots of sweet flowers. Uh, let's put a pin on that for now. I have a feeling the traveler's adventures are not gonna end. Where did Mary and her friends go? Looks like someone's singing over there. And after that, the knight re defeated the demon king, saving the imprisoned princess. Light has returned to the kingdom, or has it? Are we gonna actually find her? I think we're actually gonna find Lyris. We're actually gonna meet her. Lyris, we finally meet. She looks just like the girl from the event back in 3.8. Where did Mary and her friends go? To a great sea without borders, to a place from which all lives flow. Hey there. Oh, hi. I'm sorry, I was preparing some tea and didn't notice you. Come sit, snacks will be ready soon. Oh, snacks! Yes, and ours are very good, but I must say at first, we can only start once the bell rings. It would be quite rude to do so otherwise. Where are you from, by the way? Why, you're a fascinating combination, aren't you? A handsome young man, a small little oceanid, and your beautiful floating friend? Hey, <laughs> Paimon's Paimon, and this is unique. Anne looks unhappy, what? And this oceanid is her friend, Anne. Oh, a fine name indeed. Please, in that case, please call me Mary Anne. What? Where's... Where's the princess? Marianne. 
Uh, you know, Paimon's sure we've heard its name before. My my, what a pleasant surprise. It's been a long time since I've met someone from outside. Where are you from? We're just travelers. Paimon's not sure either. We defeated the fell dragon Narcissus and then we ended up here somehow. <gasps> the fell dragon Narcissus, you say? That must have been a frightening foe. It's not really threatening. My my, I've heard that Narcissus has hurt many and turned many kingdoms to ash. Defeating him was an impressive feat indeed. So you know about him too? Great. We're from the Narcissus and Kreutz kingdom and we're looking for Princess Lyris. Do you know where, happen to know where we might find her? Princess Lyris, you say. I'm afraid I do not know. But she should be here. Is that the case, Anne? But I've lived here for a long, long time, yet I've never seen any princess. Perhaps she might be somewhere else? Your princess is in another castle? But before we came here, we read a short book about that princess, and now she's beautiful and that kind of stuff. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with any such person. On the flip side, you unique. You do look like quite a, like a prince from a distant land. I've been told that in multiple times in Sumeru. You hear the sound of a bell. That scared me, actually. Huh? Is that the bell? Yes, that's the signal for tea time. In the past, the children would throw down their wooden swords the moment they heard this bell, and they would come into the hall to have snacks. They're not here now, but I think it's best to follow the rules all the same. They'd be quite disappointed otherwise, I suspect. Well then, shall we? Don't mind if I do. Snacks. You and Paimon enjoy the snacks together. They look very beautiful, but they are tasteless like pure water? How were they? Uh, they were great, although Paimon couldn't really taste them. Are you on a low-sugar diet or something, Marianne? Oh, my apologies, Paimon. I made them just as I remember them, so I'm not sure if they'll taste all that good. Oh, don't worry about it. At, at least Paimon's full now. Well, in that case, let me take you all out on a stroll. There's something so suspicious about this Marianne girl. Or is it Anne that's suspect? Who knows? Follow Marianne. <laughs> She's not saying a single word to us. It's just so just like, I know everything's supposed to be peaceful and sweet around here, but I can't help but feel a sinister aura around this Marianne girl. Who is she and what? how is she related to Anne? This is a flower garden that we painstakingly taken care of. Lovely, isn't it? I've heard Basil say that caring for children is like caring for a flower. You need good soil, sufficient sunlight, frequent watering, and you can't let them grow however they want. <laughs> Sounds like this Basil's pretty smart. Wait, haven't we heard the name Basil in one of these books? We heard it outside in one of the books. In fact, we must get rid of the pest from time to time as well. Oh, actually, Basil sounds pretty dangerous, too. Ah, she is very capable indeed. Making snacks, caring for flowers, she can do it all. It would be nice if I could introduce you, her to you. I've been caring for the flowers here all this time in the hopes that some friends might come and I might show you how they've bloomed. Well, here you are. Well, it's a shame they aren't in bloom right now, though. Well, we just need to water them, and they'll be fine. Hide and seek, hide and seek. Where did Mary and her friends go? To the halls of the sea-born foam to watch the sunflowers in bloom. As the drops of water stain the soil and garden black, the sunflowers spring the earth, grow quickly, and bloom. Wow, that's a miracle. Aren't they beautiful? Huh? That was quick. Well, they've been waiting for friends to arrive, after all. And with your arrival, uh, they were so excited. All they needed then was a little encouragement and a little rain to get them going. Huh, so that's how it is. Nature really is amazing, huh? Do you like them, Anne? They're very beautiful, like gleaming gold. I knew you would. I love them too, after all. You're from a very, very far away place, aren't you, Unique? What sort of flowers bloom there? The flowers that Lumine wears in her hair. I wonder what Lumine says if you play as, if, about ether. But I fear they'll be hard to find now. Unique. Then let us speak of other flowers. I've always been in Fontaine, and I've never been elsewhere. They said a friend of mine has been to Sumeru. I heard from him that there are many flowers that can't be found here. Those that grow on cliffs, those that only grow in night, some that grow on cacti. And that's when he realized that there are no cacti in Fontaine and had to give me a separate explanation. He was always sort of the serious sort. He was the smartest of us when we were young. Um... <laughs> Sorry for talking to myself. It must be a little too exciting for me. Meeting new friends like this. Well then, Paimon, have you seen any special flowers? Um, Monsnet's dandelions come to mind. Dandelions? Oh, do you have many of their delightful seeds with you? Uh, well, we might. Dandelions, dandelions, bloom, bloom, bloom. 
Dandelion seeds can be found on Paimon. <laughs> Marianne buries them in the soil. Ah, yes. What sort of flower is a dandelion? Uh, Paimon thought you'd know. How should we put this? The dandelion flower is made of many tiny white flowers, and these white flowers have seeds on them. When the wind blows, these tiny flowers will scatter along with the wind, and they will take root and sprout elsewhere, eventually making new flowers. Cool, huh? Wow, they really are. I didn't know such a flower existed, but I have heard about something similar. Oh, what sort of flower is that? It's not a flower, but it's a story about water. In a certain place, there was a beautiful body of water. Later, with disturbance, there came ripples, and droplets appeared in those ripples, droplets that had life in them. This life left the water and turned into different forms. Though they were all made of water, gulfs opened between them due to these differences. Each drop of life was very weak, but each was beautiful in its own way. The dandelion she spoke of Paimon reminded me a lot of that story. A flower that is once united could be separated, would bloom, and each piece would become itself. But a single drop of water is weak and will dry up easily. Together, they will be strong. And yet, they will no longer be themselves. Is that how it is with dandelions too? Are you explaining how oceanids are formed? Because we learned from the Archon Quest how oceanids come to be. It's very scary. Um, Paimon doesn't really get it. What do you think? Um, people can unite and yet maintain their personhood. I hope, anyway. Oh, can they really? I think I understand where you're coming from, Unique. What are you talking about? What you're talking about sounds like what happened with Al, Petit Chu, and the others. To help us, they melded into one, turning into that big bubble. Yes, I still remember. Well, it might be meaningless to say this now. Let's have a little walk again, shall we? Ah, oh, yes, I can take you to see our dog. You've got a dog, Marianne? Oh no, what are we visiting? Yes, he's a silly dog who always accompanied me. He's my best friend. I'm sobbing, y'all. I think Marianne is Anne, but I don't I don't know which one's the real one. What happened here? It seems like it was a bunch of Fontanians that uh, ha underwent an awful ordeal and just became one with the water. That's so sad. I think that's I think that's what happened. Hmm, Paimon doesn't see the dog, though. He'll come when it's feeding time. Since you're my guest, Unique, please have the honors of feeding the dog. I can't talk to Marianne. Noble sir, it is an honor to receive food from you. A pleasure to you as well, Miss Marianne. Wait, that's... No, we know this guy. How do you do, dear little miss? Uh, well, thanks for being polite and all, but Anne, what's going on? I don't know, but this can't be Mori. He has always kept me company. Hmm, does that mean we've been all wrong about what dogs really look like? Hard to say. <laughs> Water can take any shape, and life can choose any form it must take. This, however, has nothing to do with essence. That is a different matter. Well, <laughs> didn't Al say something similarly weird? I've heard something similar said, that the body is a prison that restricts evolution. That prison, prison was once a child like all the others. <sighs> Me and the others heard him tell many stories all about how life was originally formless, like water, and how there were no barriers between souls, thus allowing them to condense an endless story. Many have forsaken their bodies, for if water can be withdrawn from blood, so too can it be drawn out from one's form. But if you were to try and sprinkle water on the blackened dust that remains, it will not become blood again. And? Oh, I do remember something, even though I really don't want to. How much do you remember, Anne? I don't know, there's just this flood of feelings and scenes. Happy words and angry words, I'm not sure. I understand. You go first, alright? And remember, be a good dog. Understood. See you, Miss Marianne, and see you, see you, dear guests. This is bad, the number of things that just don't make sense keep going up. If we haven't seen the dog, Paimon would have forgotten all that stuff already. Didn't we say we were going to rescue Princess Lyris? That's right. My apologies, but there's no princess here, only us. Today, we are simply fortunate to receive guests. But this is the end of the path. She has to be here. But Marianne said... Um, so that's gonna mean one of you is mistaken, right? Right, Unique? Do you really want to hear what I have to say? Anne and Marianne. Of course, you've got the bigger brain here, don't you? Paimon, all we've experienced so far is just a story. But, but, didn't we team up with Team Narcissus and Croyd to, to defeat Narcissus' henchmen? Wasn't that real? Think about that for a moment, Paimon. Is there even a Narcissus and Croyd's kingdom amongst the Seven Nations? You're right, Paimon didn't think of that. So the adventure team, Al Petit Cho, 
Colonel Kate, Jack, Modi, two of us in our adventures. They were just characters in a story. That can't be. Paimon can't accept that. So we're in an we're in an illusion. Didn't we encounter all types of stuff? We were going through the portal in the tower. There's a lot of stuff that wouldn't fit if this was just a story. You know, like there was no Holy Blade mentioned at the start, and how a sealed tower still had monsters and bubble formations inside it. Paimon, I think what Unique is trying to say, all the things that happened after we descended the towers are just, are things outside the realm of the story. Is that right? More accurately, those parts of the story have not yet been written. So the Holy Blade, Narcissus, they were still inside the story. It's just that they had not been arranged correctly yet. Paimon still finds it hard to believe that anyone would create such a large building just for a story. I think the structure already existed. It was just used as a setting for the story. Marianne is so quiet. So that means the things I recalled along the way were things that happened before, and I'm just a character in a story. You're not merely a character. The fact that you can think about this means you can remember it. But if that's the case, then who is Anne? I am Anne. I must rescue Princess Lyris. All right, unique Paimon and her dearest Anne. Our time is up. I enjoyed our time together, but I'm afraid it's time for you to leave. Why did you have to say it was a fiction if you already knew? Spare the thought for Anne's feelings, at least. Huh? Did she kick us out? Your vision blurs and suddenly feel weightless and as if you've been slipped and fallen into frozen waters. Oh my god. What happened? But but there's no need to say anything, Anne. I once heard my best friend tell a story about a beautiful princess trapped in a high tower. Before you arrived, I had a dream. I dreamed that I was small, brave ocean, and we set out to brave save the princess. And perhaps there are princesses in this world and dragons too, but I also know that the world's affairs are largely this simple. Why would a dragon be concerned with the princess after all? After waking up, I found this dream laughable yet nostalgic every time I thought about it. Do you remember now, Anne? No, there has to be some other way. If we can't save Princess Lyris, then what if my birth? My only wish, do they have no meaning? Don't say that, Anne. Your birth was a beautiful accident. As things stand, well, I can only wish for you to live on for your own sake. Go see the world and see how it's changed since these past years. I wish for you to have your own soul, memories, personality, and wishes. I wish for you to be the master of your own fate and to experience all the beauty of the real world. Can you do that for me? It was a pleasure to meet you, unique Paimon. It was a pleasure to meet you too, Anne. But the Anna Pauses is our tomb. I do not wish for you to linger here. Mary Anne, why are you saying that? We could find a way to help you, can't we? <laughs> I sense that you're good hearted and powerful indeed. Thank you, Paimon. Unique. But I'm just someone who enjoys dreaming of lovely adventures and wonderful futures. But I do not know what happened in the past. I already know there is no going back. In the real world, everything has already ended, so this is farewell. Oh my god, you're drowning the place? Oh my god! Just who are you, Marianne? Go with the flow. Or just going with the flow. This is so sad. She's gone. And what about the palace? Are we just gonna leave this place to drown as well? I'm not even sure where we are. Anymore. Is any of this real? Oh, we are getting absolutely yeeted out of here. Oh my god. And now we're leaving the castle, the tower. Where are we? And... Dot dot dot. I'm sorry, Knight Unique. Paimon. I had already started to feel that some things were off earlier in the adventure. As you led me off the story's track, I started to understand and recall some things. But I still want to rescue Princess Lyris. That's the sole reason for which I was born. I want to save her and bring the story to a happy end. I mean, I don't even know who she is, but I only know she's a gentle, lovely princess trapped due to Narcissus' invasion. Don't worry, Anne. At least we had fun traveling with the adventure team, right? Unique. Do you know things that would turn out this way? I, I thought we could help Anne. Well, if that's the case, we can still help Anne. Huh? Paimon didn't understand anything Marianne said at the end. Did you, Anne? I did, sort of. I could sense she was speaking of something terrible that happened in the past. 
Well, the Paimon feels that's just unfair, not to you and, but to us too. That's where we gotta find out what happened, at least. If we do, we can come up with some sort of plan. Whether it be saving the princess or figuring out what Marianne said or whatever, we just want to help you, Anne. Isn't that right, Unique? The story isn't over, Anne. Okay. Still, if this is just a story, Paimon doesn't get one thing. What role do we play, Unique? Who knows? We're just a part of an accident. And that's why we can bring a story to this end. So that's why Anne found us and brought us to this story. You might not have thought about it, Anne, but since we've been able to knock this story off course, that means we've opened up all sorts of unknown possibilities. Isn't that right, Unique? Thank you, Knight Unique. Thank you, Paimon. That's why we need your help, Anne. Since we can con continue our adventure, well, can you think of anything to help us figure out what to do next? Let me think. My memories contain a place known as the Narcissus Kreutz Ordo. This place appears to have very deep connections to past events. We've heard of that during the the Melusine quest. Do you have any idea where this Ordo might be? No. That's right. We're very experienced adventurers. If you need it found, we'll find it. And that is the end of the end of the Narcissus Kreutz quest line. But we are technically not fully done. There's quality here. That was a crazy quest line, and it still leaves some unanswered questions. Lots and lots of unanswered questions to think about here. Uh, I'm going to go grab this teleporter before we go. I want to make sure we get this one. But yeah, that is that is a lot to think about. The fact that it's connected with the Melusine quest what? so well. Oh, shit. Am I going the wrong way? Let me see. Let me try to grab you. I'm I'm literally like there was so there was so much to process from that world quest. But yeah, see this structure? I thought it was a crystal, but I think it's water. It looked like the crystals from Enconomia, but no it's water. Yeah, I wanna grab this while we're here. Okay, so we we are not done. Um this video is nearly two hours long. I was gonna do this guide's world quest today, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do something else instead. We are going to do... It's in the Institute of National Philosophy Fontaine. I don't know how to get there. Where could it be? Is it here? That's the hotel. Where's the Institute of National Philosophy? Let me see if I can find it. Oh, we can't even do this now. You have to do the world. No, we have to do the world quest. Okay, we're going to leave this on a cliffhanger then. We are almost done with the Fontaine world quest coverage. We have one more set of world quests to cover, and that is the Aqueous quest line. The I didn't know this was another big world quest. Aqueous Tide Marks. So technically, Aqueous Tide Marks isn't a world quest series like the past two world quests I've been covering. You would think it would be, but it's not. It's really weird that they don't classify this as a World Quest series like they did with the other two. So I thought there were only two World Quest series I was going to cover here today. But no. Um, no. There, there is a lot more to cover yet still. So yeah. I think we will end the video here. And the next Genshin Impact video will cover, finally, we will finally, finally, finally wrap up uh, the side stories here in Fontaine. Uh... We finished the Melusine quest line, and we even unlocked this. We just finished the Anne, Anne of the Narcissus Kreutz quest line, so now we have to do the Aqueous quest line next. And then we will finally, finally, finally just dig into this lore. It's a really, really good story, and I love that it's all connected. Like, they're all separate from each other, but they're still really well connected. I need to unlock Fontaine reputation eventually here. Oh my god, there's so many world quests to do still! Did I get Anne of the Narcissenkreutz? Yeah, Anne story prologue. See more story prologue. So yeah, there's, there's a lot to cover still. Alright, bye friends.